Hey guys, welcome back to art class. Today, we are gonna continue looking at professional muralists all over the city of Dallas. But first, I want to take a second to shout out some of the artwork that we made after getting inspired by Ben Reynolds last week. Uh, remember, Ben Reynolds was the artist, the muralist, that we looked at last time. And his art was all about dumping all of the thoughts in our brain into a piece of art so that we are able to make sense of what is going on in our heads. The stuff that makes us happy, sad, scared, mad, excited, hungry, silly, and everything else. Whenever we put that into artwork, it makes us make sense of what we're feeling. And I was so proud of how y'all took that activity and ran with it. And it was so cool to see these pictures of pretty much like the inside of y'all's brains and to hear y'all describe what those drawings represent and mean to you. That was really cool for me. Now, this time is going to be a little different. The artist that we are going to look at and learn about is Leslie Marshall. She is pretty much one of the main reasons that there are murals all over the city of Dallas because she thinks it's really important for a city to have pictures of lots of different people's viewpoints and ideas all over it. So that's why she started the 42 Murals Project which basically just matched a bunch of professional artists with walls that needed murals. She's like, you like to paint? That building needs a painting? You guys get together, paint on that building. She did that. So whenever you're driving through downtown Dallas and Deep Ellum and you see murals everywhere, you probably have Leslie to thank for that. She organized a lot of that. So Leslie Marshall is a big piece of the Dallas art culture here fun fact. But she herself is also an artist. She makes her own murals. She likes to use bright neon colors and abstract style to bring an outdoor space to life. She likes how color and fantasy can make people's imaginations run wild. And so her artwork is usually really brightly colored and has things like goldfish swimming among diamonds, like this one right here. See the goldfish? swimming and the bubbles are made out of diamonds. And then also she likes to incorporate bright colors and fantasy into her other paintings like this magenta stained glass looking bird flying over the mountains. And it kind of looks like the bird is exploding over the mountains, but in a good way. Both of these examples that I just showed you, the goldfish with the diamonds and the bird flying over the mountains, both of those examples are two of the five brand new murals that she just finished in one of her favorite projects ever. And you know what's really exciting about this project? It is right next to Luna, like right here. It's in Victory Park, which is from where I'm sitting, right over there. So it is basically right in our neighborhood. So she is an artist that is really, really close to us. And those paintings that I just showed you are right near us. The other three paintings in this project that she did in Victory Park are a lot like the ones I just showed you. They take a regular animal in a regular scene and she makes it brightly colored with these unexpected shapes that makes things look like something out of a fantasy or a fairy tale. Here is a picture of the five new murals that she just finished. As you can see, in each one, she took an animal, or in one of them, she took a uh, dead animal skull with the cow skull right there, and she found a way to make it amazing and awesome and unexpected. Leslie Marshall's favorite thing about art is how it makes people notice things that are unexpected and surprising. She really likes it when people get surprised by art because it makes them smile and it makes them think. For example, when you are walking or driving through a really, really busy city like downtown Dallas, where everything is concrete and glass and brick everywhere, you don't really expect to come across, to come around the corner and see one entire block of the building covered in aqua blue paint and bright magenta triangles like the magenta bird flowing, flying over the mountains. You don't expect to see this big mural right in the middle of a super industrial city. She loves surprising people like that with her artwork. 
So one of the ways that she does this is the place that she decides to put it. So maybe right in the middle of a city. The other place that she decided to put one of her murals that was really surprising was in a parking garage, which we know really well because we have a parking garage right above us. Whenever you're in a parking garage, do you expect to see like a crazy beautiful work of art? Do you expect to see something like this? This bright red beautiful masterpiece? No, you don't expect to see that. It's surprising when you see that right in the middle of a parking garage, which is awesome. So the place that she puts her artwork, that's one of the ways she tries to surprise people. But she also tries to surprise people with the stuff that's in her artwork. So for example, when I think about a mama and baby elephant, I don't think about making that baby elephant out of a bunch of colorful triangles like this. When I think about a fish, I don't think about making them tie-dye or I don't think about making the water orange or the bubbles out of diamonds. I don't think about that, but she did. And that's surprising. And when I think about lions, I don't think about making them out of what looks kind of like gorgeous stained glass, you know, like a stained glass window with all those colors and the geometric shapes. It kind of is what it looks like, right? Well, I don't normally think of making an animal look like that, but she did. It's like Leslie tries to make every single thing that she paints into a scene from a fairy tale where everything is just a little bit magical. Not only are all of the animals in these examples made out of all the colors of the rainbow, but the space around them looks like it's bursting with energy and shapes and colors too. This is how she tries to surprise people and make them smile. She tries to turn an ugly gray wall into a beautiful work of art. That is what I want us to try to do today. Now, obviously we're not gonna be painting on an ugly gray wall, but I want us to get inspired by Leslie and think of a way that we can make something ugly or boring into something beautiful, awesome, and interesting. Maybe for you, that will be drawing your least favorite place, but finding a way to make it better by adding things that you love. If I did that, I would draw the highway because I hate driving on the highway. But how can I make it better? How can I make it surprising and by making it into something that's awesome and interesting to me? Maybe I would draw food trucks with all my favorite foods all along the side of the highway. Maybe the sky would be magenta because I really like the color of magenta right now. Maybe the sunshine would be rainbow and the clouds would be made out of diamonds and maybe all of the cars would be self-driving cars so that nobody would get in crashes and everyone could just take naps while their cars drove them places. Maybe um, instead of the road being made out of that gray asphalt, maybe it would be made out of like solid gold. I don't know. I'm just thinking, thinking of ideas. But that's one, one way that I could make something that's ugly and boring, it's something that I don't like, like the highway and I make it into something awesome that I now love. That's one way you could do it. Or maybe you could draw an animal that usually isn't very pretty. Maybe it's usually kind of gross, like a ferret, or like that dead cow skull that Leslie Marshall turned into a beautiful red mural. All right, maybe you could do something like that and you would find a way to add colors and shapes and designs to make it unexpected and surprising and amazing. It could literally be anything. All you need to do is, number one, think of something that you usually think, like I said, is kind of boring, gross, or ugly. All right, think about it. What is one place, thing, or animal that you normally think is a little bit boring, a little bit gross, a little bit ugly? Think about it. Do you got it? Okay. Now, how can you add a bunch of designs and colors and other things to turn that place or animal or thing into something that you really like now? What colors could you add? What shapes? What lines could you add? Would you add diamonds, rubies? gold, other jewels? Would you put designer clothes on your animal? 
would you make your snake not have fangs anymore so he couldn't bite anybody? <laughs> would you turn your school into a castle? Would you turn the sky pink? Would you turn the grass red? Anything at all. Just find a way to draw something that when someone's looking at it, is really surprising to them. When we use our art to surprise people, we can show others our ideas for how to make the world better. Some of those ideas might not be realistic, but it's always good to show other people our ideas for how we can make the world better. Just like always, when we're about to start, I'm gonna leave my paper up on the screen just in case y'all wanna see what I'm doing. I'm gonna be drawing a whale <laughs> because Whales are usually kind of crusty and a little bit gross and blubbery and kind of gray, but I'm gonna do my best to try to make it into a gorgeous and surprising picture by using unexpected shapes and colors and whatever else I come up with along the way to try to make it into a gorgeous, surprising picture. So once you have thought of what your boring or ugly thing is that you wanna draw. And once you have thought of how you're gonna make that thing better, then you can go ahead and start with me. All that you're gonna to need today is a paper, a pencil and eraser, and whatever colors you have. That could be markers, crayons, colored pencils, gel pens, highlighters, paints, whatever you have at home or whatever you have in your desk at school, wherever you might be. So go ahead and find these supplies. I'm gonna give you one minute, go. Okay, now that we have our supplies, let's go ahead and start. Remember, we are taking something that is normally, usually, kind of boring and ugly, and we are finding a way to use our own ideas of everything that we like and that we think is awesome to make that thing better. It could be a place, a thing, or an animal. Let's go. Okay, you guys, so like I said earlier, I am going to be drawing a whale for my version of our Leslie Marshall inspired artwork. And I'm gonna leave mine up on the screen so that you guys can see what I'm doing and can maybe get a couple of ideas, but you are going to choose your own idea. Remember the whole point of this is we are just like Leslie, going to take our own idea of something that can be made better and we're gonna do that in our artwork. So for me, I'm taking a gross, crusty old whale and I'm gonna make it exciting and colorful and abstract like it's in a fairy tale, just like her murals that we just looked at. So hopefully you have your idea of something that you are gonna to try to make better with your own creativity and let's go ahead and get started. While I'm doing the water, one thing that I'm thinking about is how I can make the water prettier, kind of like it's in a fairy tale like we were talking about earlier. So instead of doing the normal shape of water I usually do, I'm kind of making each one kind of like it's a spiral. And when I add color, I'll probably add some colors that maybe aren't normally in 
regular water. I'm trying to think about what I might add. I'm still deciding. I'll probably come up with it as I go. And now whales are usually kind of like gray, blubbery brown, but since we've been talking so much about magenta today, I'm feeling really excited about the color magenta. So I am going to be drawing a magenta whale today. It's coming out of the water a little bit. Just a little. Little baby fin. And my whale's gonna be really happy. Cause I like the idea of a happy whale. You can never really tell what kind of facial expression they're making, can you? Honestly, my whale's already a little bit weird looking. I'm kind of excited about it. Now, I'm gonna color my whale with, I'm kind of thinking about how Leslie, whenever she made her animals, they were like bursting with usually a bunch of triangles and lines and there's just color, almost like exploding out from the animal. And I don't know if mine's gonna be exactly like that, but I am gonna try to use a bunch of different shapes and lines to color in this whale, maybe a little bit different than I normally would.
Hmm, what color should I put in the middle? Maybe like pink or yellow. Um, I can't decide. I think I'm going to put yellow. Now, like I was saying earlier, it's always a good thing if we're able to, through our art, show some of our ideas, how we can make the world better and design our own way of doing things, even if our ideas aren't realistic. Like, obviously, my whale that I'm drawing right now is completely unrealistic, but I'm having fun doing it, and I'm having a really fun time making something that is normally all just gray and kind of gross, no offense, whale, into something actually kind of pretty. I am having fun. Hopefully, whatever you're making, you are to the point now where you're adding color and um, adding little designs that don't exist on the real thing. So, for example, if you are making some sort of building, whether it's your house, your apartment, school, grocery store, maybe you're doing the highway, like I said in my example, any sort of building, uh, you could add all sorts of things to that building to make it something that you would actually enjoy going to if it's something that you don't already like. You could add colors that aren't already there. You could add diamonds and jewels and gold and food trucks and uh, all of your favorite animals, maybe your favorite um, maybe your favorite singers, <laughs> maybe they live there. If it's an animal, uh, maybe your animal breathes rainbows <laughs> or maybe it poops money. I don't know. It's up to you. Find some way to turn whatever you're drawing into something out of a fantasy, something that is not real, that came straight out of your own head. Make your own changes, make it all up, draw it on your paper so that when someone looks at it, they get surprised. Remember that was Leslie's big thing. She loved surprising people with her artwork because it made them think. It made them smile first and then it made them think. Oh no. So I've been recording for 21 minutes, I just realized. I need to speed it up. Man, I just realized I was supposed to call a parent after school today. I forgot. Don't want to do it. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot my coffee over there. Hmm. Thank goodness I made that. I was just thinking about how tired I was. <laughs> the past cat, I already tried to fix that. Future cat just forgot. You can take it if you want. No, sure. well, if you want to, I can just need all this. Okay, so I have a super crazy looking whale in a water full of all these different colored swirls. I'm looking around and there's some other things I could add, but I know that I've been going for a really long time already and I don't want to make this video too long. I hope that if you are making something like this or something totally different, maybe you take um, even some more time to add things that are really, really unique to you and your vision for what you want it to be so that you're really proud of what you made and you're excited about what you made. Okay, we did it. You guys, that took a lot of imagination and a lot of hard work and it probably took a long time too. You might have not finished. In fact, you probably didn't finish and that's okay. I just want to let you know that I'm really proud of you for trying. I really want you to try to finish if you have time later. And please, as always, please, please, please send me pictures. I will put my email in the description of this video. I always want to see what you made because I really miss being able to see y'all's creativity every day. I hope y'all are doing great. I hope that you send me pictures and I will see y'all next time. Bye.